Hey guys, Keaton here with TechSmart, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at all the 4K goodness that has been released at CES thus far. Actually, the four in 2014 stands for 4K as it's just spewing out of the walls here in Las Vegas. So manufacturers like Sharp, LG and Samsung have just released tons of 4K TVs. We have bendable, flexible, which is the exact same thing. We have standard flat panel TVs, and we have TVs that can curve and go to a flat panel. It's just insane. So let's go ahead and take a look to see what 4K, 5K, and 8K is all about. So some of you guys might not even know what all this 4K, 8K, 5K gibberish is all about. So let me break it down for you guys. 4K is the approximate number of pixels on the horizontal axis. So for example here, you could fit four 1920 by 1080 screens in a 4K space, and that's how you get 4K. 4K is clear, more vivid, and you'll just be able to see your content in a new light. So 4K is cool and all, 5K is even cooler, but 8K, that stuff's just banging. So all this is pretty cool, but the one thing that's really gonna hold all this back and what is really holding 4K back now is HDMI. But HDMI 1.4 can only support up to 30 hertz in terms of 4K content. And just a little background knowledge on hertz, hertz is how often an image can be changed on a screen. So again, it can be displayed at 30 hertz and 4K for just your standard HDMI 1.4 port. But with HDMI 2.0, and this is truly revolutionary, and it will be coming out in the summer of 2014, it can be changed up to 60 60 times or 60 hertz. So this will make your content in 4K a lot smoother and just give you a nice kick-ass experience. So starting off, Samsung released a plethora of TVs here at CES 2014, ranging from your standard 1080p TVs all the way up to the 4K beasts. And what really caught the media by surprise was the 85-inch bendable TV, which is just a prototype. With a touch of a button, it can curve from your standard flat panel all the way to a curve. When it is curved, you, your eyes are equidistant from each point on the curve, and that'll just give your eyes the most natural, clear, and just best way to go ahead and view your content. Although I do think it's a bit gimmicky, it is just a prototype, so we might not even see this come the market, but I hope we do, and many other manufacturers out there, such as LG, are kind of replicating the same type of concept. So yes, all the content on here is displayed in 4K, so you're going to get all that great pixel goodness, and it's just going to look absolutely fantastic on the 85-inch monitor. So up next on Samsung's line here is the 31.5-inch 4K monitor. Samsung can actually cram 99% of Adobe's RGB spectrum in here, which, let me tell you, it looks so crisp, so clear, and colors really pop off the monitor, and that's something that I really did notice when actually using the monitor itself. And one thing I really do like about this that they don't really feature on other monitors today that are in 1080p, uh, it actually can go from vertical to horizontal landscapes. It features HDMI 2.0, and it's just clear, delicious, and it's something I would want to put on my desktop. So Samsung's not released how much this monitor will cost. We can kind of get a speculation as the ASUS 31.5 inch monitor, which is 4K, can be found on Amazon for around $2,900, but similar ones that feature the same technology but are not the exact same size. Just a few inches knocked down, such as Lenovo's 28 inch monitor, start off at around $800, or Dell's 4K monitor, which is also 28 inches and looks absolutely gorgeous, starts off at around $700. So it's really just a crapshoot to see where Samsung will price this, and hopefully it's under $1,000, or I don't think it's gonna get anyone's money. So coming to a close on Samsung's part here, it's the 105 inch curved 5K TV. So 5K, you're just probably saying to yourself, 4K has just come out, how can there be 5K? Well, actually it's because of the aspect ratio as it's a 21 by nine aspect ratio. You're still getting the same amount of vertical resolution, but the amount of horizontal resolution is different. Hence the reason there's 5K. So the 5K, just 105 inch curved TV by Samsung looks absolutely fantastic. Samsung really focused on the curves and it really makes content pop, especially with a TV that big. And I can see this being ideal for people watching movies, but when you're watching standard television, you're probably gonna see black bars around the content as most television is shot in 16 by nine aspect ratio. So no pricing or availability for the 105 inch curved 5K TV by Samsung, but LG has confirmed their model, which is pretty much the exact same thing for $69,999, so definitely not cheap. But the good news here is it features HDMI 2.0, so you'll get 60 Hertz refresh rate watching 4K content or 5K content at 30 frames per second. So also similar to Samsung, LG rolled out their 105 inch curved 5K TV. This is gonna feature the same aspect ratio of 21 by nine in the exact same resolution as we saw on the Samsung one. The only difference there is the fact that they confirmed the price, which starts off at $69,999. So it features a WebOS interface, and this is kind of where it diversifies itself, and WebOS comes with a remote. It's a lot smoother and it's less cluttered uh, in terms of the user interface. And I really think that's a big buying point for people who want a massive monitor that's curved. It's 
it's gonna give you a nice experience on 5K, but you'll also be able to browse the web and use these smart technology features with LG's TV. So even though Sony did not release any 4K TVs this year at CES 2014, they came out and said that they engineered their previous 4K TVs featuring HDMI 1.4 in a more brilliant manner. So when they were constructing these TVs, they made all the parts in there compatible with HDMI 2.0. So when HDMI 2.0 did roll out, all it would be needed is just a firmware update to be released and you'd be rocking HDMI 2.0 on your brand new Sony TV. Also, they released a 147 inch 4K projector that can project any type of 4K image, display or anything along those lines on any type of wall. And it looks great to the human eye. Also, they unveiled a 4K Handycam. So they had a uh, 4K camera out uh, now, which is about $5,000, but the 4K Okay, Handycam is about $2,000 and it can shoot 4K at 30 frames per second. So it really seems that Sony is trying to push 4K into the consumers and kind of give it a nice comfortable price point to where you can rock the latest technology without hurting your wallet. The Sony 4K Handycam comes out in March of 2014 as the 147 inch 4K projector comes out in the summer of 2014. So while 4K and 5K was the talk of the town, Sharp really pushed a new type of technology and unveiled their 85 inch 8K TV. So I'd say the 3D effect was cool, but they told us to stand at 28 different viewing angles, and I guess that's okay for a consumer. But if I was watching TV and I had this really powerful TV and I spent out tons and tons and tons of cash to go and get it, I really wouldn't want to have to sit in a certain position because it might not be optimal for my current living space. So it's a bit gimmicky. I guess 8K is cool and all, but the human eye cannot really distinguish the difference between 4K K and 8K, so I think it's, if anything, just a marketing tactic and for you to spend more money on a manufacturer. So just the pricing on the 8K model compared to the 4K model, which is currently out, it's really gonna be interesting to see how much more money you're gonna have to be paying for the extra 4K. So even though Vizio was not on the show floor at CES, they debuted some pretty nice 4K TVs. Prominently starting off here, they released the brand new 50 inch 4K panel starting off at just $999, which is super affordable. And then they also debuted their 70 inch model, which starts off at $2,600. And I gotta tell you, Vizio has really stepped their game up and allowed 4K to be affordable for all consumers. So the real showstopper here was Dell's unveiling of the brand new 28 inch 4K monitor for just $699. So it's a nice comfortable price point to where people can invest in 4K and still have a big enough screen to see their content. So as we can see here at CES 2014, 4K has become truly affordable, but if you want to spend up to $70,000, you can for a 105 inch curved either Samsung or LG 5K TV, which is just absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching this piece on 4K, 5K, and 8K content. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop me a like down below. Also go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It lets you know that I produce a brand new video on some of the cool tech we see here in Las Vegas, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.